Yesterday we looked at creating our story plot for our story. Um, so today, today I'm going to show you how you can expand your story plot into an actual story. So I'm going to be writing the story of Queasy Quincy. Now I began, I'd already started my character description the other day. So this was um, what I had written. So Quizzy was always feeling ill. She would feel sick in the morning. She would feel sick in the afternoon. She would feel sick at night. The kids at school would call her Queasy Quincy. You might wonder why Quincy was always feeling queasy. Was it because she liked to spin in circles? Was it because she ate too much cake? No, it wasn't. She just liked to use the word queasy. All right, so in that sentence, sorry, sorry that paragraph, but that's done. That's the instruction. Introduction. So that is the or the orientation or the exposition. So that for the orientation, it's kind of got we get to know a little bit about Quincy, because this story is about Quincy. So we need to make sure that we know who, what Quincy Quincy is, and she's always feeling sick. All right. So that's one paragraph. So this is the exposition, and that was one paragraph. Now the second one, the second paragraph that I'm going to do is the inciting incident or the complication. So I have said that it's going to be the school trip and she feels sick. Now I remember reading one of other David Williams' book and they said something about like the ta like the, ta the day our tale begins or the day our story begins or whatever. So how about we start off, oh I don't like that font, um, we start off with the day our tale begins. <laughs> And I'm going to put a comma here because I'm making a relative clause because her name is Mrs. Jones. So because I'm talking about her teacher and I'm saying her name, I have to have a comma there. So that's our relative clause. So Quincy asked her teacher, Mrs. Jones, you... All right. So that's all that Quincy's... I mean, sorry, Quincy's going to say. And because I want somebody... I want her classmates to say something. So I need to make sure that that's on a new line now because it's somebody else talking. So I'm going to make sure that they say, we know, replied her classmates. Most of them roll, oops, most of them rolling their eyes. So that's just kind of getting us, getting them to think, getting us to know that her classmates think that's annoying. All right, so that's a bit annoying. Okay, so that's kind of telling us about the um, school trip. Okay, so let's have a look. Quincy. setting the scene of the next things. So we're going to be talking about the bus ride now. So a new paragraph. The day came when it... Um, so just as they were boarding the bus, I so Jessica's annoyed. That's not fun. Now it looks like I'm, I'm writing a new paragraph here because this paragraph here that I just finished writing was about like before they actually got on the bus. So this paragraph I'm going to be writing about them actually hopping on the bus and actual the actual bus trip. So that's why I've made a new paragraph because it's a new set of information. Okay, so nobody wanted to sit next to Quincy on the bus. She made sure Alright, that's 
sounds like a good enough for the bus trip. Let's go on the next one. Oh, all of a sudden, whoa, I'm gonna have a comma because that is a, a context, that is a connective there. So all of a sudden, it's a subordinate clause. So all of a sudden, Mrs. <laughs> Why don't you like that? Let me have a look. All of a sudden. Suddenly. Oh, that might be better. Suddenly. Mrs. Jones called out, we're here. And now I've put this on a new line because Mrs. Jones said that. And yippee is what the class is going to say. He yelled the rest of the class. put a comma there because we started it off with when when Quincy looked up the I think they're pretty sick of her saying this the whole boat ride a boat ride. So let's get to the next part, which is the amusement park. All right, new paragraph. Year five. Amusement parks make me queasy. Well, Quincy wailed. <gasps> oh. That's mean. Quincy burst into tears. And Comments. All right, a little word on this um, apostrophe here. Because we're talking about lots of classmates, and it's the comments belonging to the classmates, we have to put the apostrophe after the S because it's showing that all the classmates, so more than one classmate, own the nasty comments. So that's why that apostrophe goes there. All right, she didn't like that. Okie dokie, so maybe. Oh, must be bad. All right, so she's sitting in there. So let's have a think. Because she's going on the roller coaster. Let's have a look after this. All right. All right, lunch down herself. Comma. So she got. All right. Okay, let's look down. Whoops. Down. Okay, so let's go. We're on the roller coaster now. I think. All right. So. Last car of the roller 
Mula roller coaster reached the peak because it starts with as it's a subordinate clause come on Quincy reached the loop de loop loop de loop loop de loop which is loop loop comma because when they reach the loop de loop some riders were I'm going to do this sentence here. So this was Quincy, who complained that everything made her feel queasy. And she was riding the Bathatron. So because I've just kind of done a relative clause, this was Quincy, comma, who complained that everything made her feel queasy. And she was riding the Bathatron. So those commas, they're protecting the subordinate clause. All right, now we need to finish this up because it's pretty much done. All right, all the children. <sighs> all right, goodness me. Oh, 880 words. Can you believe it? All righty, so that is my story then. So that's just me just writing it there. I followed the plan. Um, now that I've finished reading it, I would like to have another time um, chance to go and edit it but I'm going to do that another time because I've just finished writing the story and I'll leave it for another day so that's how we can look at our plan and actually get a story from it noticing that each event is a new paragraph so it makes it cohesive so there you go have a go at writing your own